there is no mud or earth there. In, in uh, Lakshadweep, Lakshadweep yeah. Yeah. is millions of years of corals which are living organisms. Mm -hmm. They are all in uh, salty sea. So when they die, they get crushed by nature and get poured into the crater. Mm -hmm. That's what forms the soil. And that is dependent on wind currents. So normally all islands are to the east. Okay. Westerlies take the east. I mean, our monsoons are westerlies. Yeah. So they take the uh, crushed coral. So there's no earth there. It's all what, what is called white sand is yeah. coral sand. Yeah, and it's corals, crushed corals. So in with millions of years in salt, there's no pest over there. You don't see cockroaches, you don't see ants, you don't see worms or uh, whatever, I mean, what centipedes. Yeah, whatever lives in soil. Okay. Coffee, so double shot capsule. And uh, so that's where it was, and it's a marvelous place. Everyone lives in harmony with nature, they don't do anything against. There was a movement, I mean, okay, Salimani. Big Bombay Bombay uh, Historical Society, their representatives had come there. And they are, they would, from the ship you have to get down into boats, they cross over into the reef and into the lagoon. And those guys were saying, Ki, show me the lagoon, show me the lagoon. So he says, jump, you are in the lagoon already. <laughs> so, I mean, that's how people who are even experts sometimes are not aware. And these people would not do anything which is against nature. They they would starve themselves, but they are so highly educated that they are very, uh, they're very litiga litigation minded. But it's got the highest per capita income because their wants are few. Tourism used to be Bangaram Island. Yeah. No TV, no telephone, no air conditioning, no hot water and no newspapers. The main two cottages were $600 a night in the 90s. Nineties. Yes, club med owner, German billionaires. Okay, then uh, one or two queens and kings, and uh, Richard Gere and his girlfriend, who stayed there for two months, uh, staying over there. I mean, they wanted peace. We guys look the other way around. We want to be a part of chaos. Yeah, yeah, so, so that was and uh, okay, yeah. mice don't nibble at anything. Mice are only found in the trees, not on the ground. They eat coconuts. Cats don't eat mice. Mm. <laughs> they don't go anywhere near uh, mice because they eat fish waste. Since it's Muslim, dogs are not allowed. Mm. So you can't even get a dog on a ship, what to say of getting it on the island. And cats will not harm chicken or uh, chicks, yeah. I mean, who keep on following. Mm. I mean, if there is a hen and her brood of chicks who are following, the cat will take a detour and avoid and then go. Because probably choice of meat is fish, fish. and not. And fish is, uh, uh, Mr. Kushwan Singh wrote about that because he spent time during, uh, during the Ramzan period. And that too, these chaps, they don't, you know, they don't take any water. They took him out for a 10 hour journey, it's a boat with a platform, 10 feet by 10 feet maybe. They stand on that, it's not a baited hook, when they see tuna and when a shoal of tuna moves, it's like water boiling, so you can make out where it is, but when you do mass fishing, then you, then you need persigners which is two ships having a common net and helicopters because the shoal moves very fast. But these guys by nature know where these are to be found, the shoals at what time of the year. So they go and throw ornamental, what we call ornamental fish, mm. all those colours and all, they are found in the, mm. in, uh, in the lagoon. Mm. They go and throw that and then that fish would bite at anything. So they throw an unbaited hook which is on a line, it's called pole and line fishing, bamboo pole line and with the flick of their wrist, the moment it bites, they get a tug with a flick of their wrist, the fish is made to fly into the boat. <laughs> now the fish has to go over their head. Because if that fish hits 
any part of a human it will take okay. that eye so your eyes can come out your cheeks can come out your if it hits here the flesh will come out because it's alive it's in a eating frenzy yeah. and that part of your body will be out yeah. so but we we don't have too many cases like that so obviously they are great experts and kushwan singh he was 83 years old that time just they gave him water with but they went out four to five hours came back four to five hours one hour of ship, uh, fishing or two and then he came back many koi on the island and these guys are to be seen to be believed i mean it's all hand carved uh, most of you vegetarians i guess uh, <laughs> with names they don't go by that okay. i'm non vegetarian yeah many people are non veg now especially when they travel abroad so that tuna there was a that time the ambassador was a very famous guy from the us uh, richard linkquist and uh, he was in kerala so i was also in the same hotel so i said here this is designer tuna so he says what do you mean designer tuna so i said each piece of fish is caught by hand and then carved by hand by ladies uh, normally tuna has three portions white meat red meat black meat so white is to be taken by humans black is for pet food and poultry feed is the black one dried so i said this is carved and you will not find any other you know you will not find any part of red meat i mean that's carved by ladies and that's how how carefully they do it so okay he took those six and then i got a call from the us embassy can we can you have some more please yeah. <laughs> so and it's in oil so the shelf life is 3 years rather than heinz which is the best selling brand in the world it's called chicken of the seas and that's in brine in salt water so 6 months but that's so that that was one was lucky so a lot of postings here in then in, in delhi and then like you said i decided to shift to the you know when you say that it's luck but what ankita Aditi. Aditi. Aditi, Aditi, what you were saying that you got to make up your mind. Yeah. So that's the first lesson which you must have. That you, your families belong to business. You are probably going into business again, and maybe either a professional <coughs> business, like Pallavi Dinodia, and she's a she should be YBLF also, and she is a CA. Who's been a topper? I mean, like a father, she's been a topper all her life. I know. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So, you got to make up your mind what to do. It's a professional life or it's a mm-hmm. business life. You select that, but then you work towards it. So that is there, and then in that field you deserve or you hope for luck. I mean, I also made up my mind that I would give up the government. Mm-hmm. So it, it's a three-four year exercise. You got to see the alternatives. You got to see what. field and then what to avoid i mean like at one time airbus industry was interviewing me and the third set of interviews was to be held in singapore so singapore i mean that if you are in the government you have a problem okay you have to explain to the government yeah. why are you going and so then how are you going who will bear your expenses so that creates a problem but the bigger problem was that airbus is owned by a company called eads okay. eads is the defense manufacturer so all of us think of airbus ki 320 330 350 380 and there's nothing but it's actually the defense which carries through so that was the decision to be made that okay no more first of all going to singapore is hazardous but working in the defense and in good old times you know the government think about it that why was the agusta helicopter order which was just a four or four and a half thousand crores contract but rafael which was a 56000 crore contract was never never finished never completed so that is the danger of being in the defense sector in some ways this is special no it's not special suspicion suspicion to hai hi i mean then it's all kind of games which go on and plus the you know the politics changes 
I mean, it's a political decision. That's why I think Rafael was never done because the deal was never closed. There has to be a separate deal. One is the official deal, the other one is an unofficial deal. Now, uh, Mr. Talwar, can we talk a little bit about, I'm very curious to learn, hmm? they always say defense industry tends to be a little shady, business transactions tend to be a little shady. What that's does that even mean? Yeah, what does it mean? What are these? Okay, Admiral Nanda. Happened? Admiral Nanda was Admiral of the Navy. Okay. How did he become the biggest arms dealer? Obviously, there was a political patronage. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, we are all from Delhi. Yeah. We know Sarins are sure. arms dealers. Sure. How did they become? Uncle was Kapoor in the HAL. Mm -hmm. But it's a it's a line which says that okay. There's a political part of it, there's the requirements are set by the forces and then, I mean today you have an air chief marshal who's under, I mean under, under, under cloud, under shadow or whatever you want to say. So obviously these are difficult decisions where I think they are now being made easy by two things. Number one is that wherever you sign a contract, no. The government here and the and presently the Prime Minister has chosen the cleanest way which says government to government. Whichever country you are buying from, at whatever price it is sold to their own government, that price should come here. So you can't then be faulted. Arms length. But more than that, you hope that that government will get the best price. <coughs> And therefore, if you are signing at the same price, that's how Rafael went through, no? Yeah. Because now there's a contract, now there's a clause that if you reduce your prices in the next X number of years, you're supposed to compensate back also. So that's even better. Mm -hmm. And plus, then they also have now said, which is a part of what this country needs. That's your Atmanirbhar. Mm -hmm. That is, that indigenize and do it here, and that's for a reason. It's not just to avoid scandal. There's a bigger need now. What is the bigger need? So we come on to the lecture. That that was my background. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I was lucky enough to get into DLF. Mm -hmm. And I think there was a reason why uh, two of us came onto the board, became CEOs, mm -hmm. and maybe that's an equally good reason why we went out also. And we are now. No, but that was another thing. I mean, I must tell you this. It's not only a change which was taking place internally because I think we had stabilized after that period of 2008 and for us 2008 to 2014 there were various things and then Mohit and I came in at 2014 and stayed on till uh, Mohit stayed on till 2020, I stayed on till 2021 and there was a change over there and there was a need for whatever happened which we can do the talk in between and one was lucky to get into a company and lots of lessons which I learned in the private sector from that stay which is now I'm still continuing over there so it's 16 years plus so the first big thing in the world which we are now discussing is thanks to the last two years and thanks to the change of government eight years ago as far as Indians work again, but Indians more so, there's been a tectonic change. And none of us, I think, disregard that at all. The world has changed. I mean, it's not only that girl who was there, that she survived. Many people lost their lives, but political philosophies changed. Economic policies changed. Political philosophies became that yes, any kind of person could be could be tolerated, which is Trump. Yeah. But if you <laughs> but if you make a bad choice of strategy, uh, he was a sure winner. Yeah. Yeah. We delayed our declaration of the lockdown because he was coming there, and it's a big thing for the American president to come to India. Yeah. No, I just been to the RPO's office here, mm -hmm. who's a young IFS officer, so easy. We were sitting and talking and he gave me 
two different what is the tectonic change for indians he says sir 20 years ago we've heard stories he was in russia and then he went to houston and then he's come to india he's a chemical engineer so he says sir we heard stories that if the indian ambassador to germany and that time it may no it was in west germany it was germany and if they rang up that we want to visit the BMW or the Mercedes factory, it used to be passed down from the chairman's office to some low functionary who would say you are welcome hmm? and please can you make it pre-lunch or post-lunch because if it is pre-lunch, no. And so these are high ranking officers. This is the ambassador, the ambassador. of India to Germany. He says, sir, it was that if it's pre-lunch, so please remember you you will have your breakfast and come and you will go back for lunch. But we don't. No, we don't serve lunch. No, no, we don't. We don't really welcome you. We don't entertain you. But kar rahe. It's a formality. He says, sir, today the CEOs of Mercedes, BMW, anyone would say that when can you grace? my fact you know my establishment my company with the visit huh? and then it's all photographed videographed a meal huh? and the chairman himself is walking you around he says that's one the second part is there was a photograph of his uh, i mean a big photograph in his room and he says sir that's right in front of my eye there was a you know kind of a pillar and the door is behind that so he says sir this is that howdy modi when Mr. Mo when Mr. Modi when, uh, went to US, Houston, he says that in the history of USA, there are only two leaders who have been able to fill a stadium of 50,000 capacity and in Mr. Modi's case, it was also outside. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So, you know, we call, it's called what, uh, uh, FOB, Friends of BJP. <laughs> That's the organization. <laughs> huh, but yeah, he says, overseas, of BJP. Uh, overseas <laughs> friends of BJP. Uh, so he says, but the other one was a religious leader called the Pope. <laughs> the only political leader ever to fill up a stadium is Mr. Modi. Now he's done it in Munich also. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so he makes it down in his, his public. Oratory is undoubtedly the best. True. Just like in the closed room, it was Arun Jaitley who was yeah. Yeah. a steen, scene stealer, yeah. one liners and scene stealer. Yeah. So that is the change which India has come through. Yeah. He has brought us on the map. He has brought us. Today it is very certain when earlier people used to say Goldman Sachs, others, JP Morgan, Morgan Stanley they used to say that by 2040 and 2050 it should be. US, China and India fighting for the three largest economies. Each one of us used to love to believe that but there was a little disbelief in it. nationalist <laughs> one. Today you say ki what the hell? Piyush Goyal has said there is a 30 trillion dollar economy in 2050 or before that and people are justifying that. that from 1991, in fact they are taking it that from 1994 till 2022, it's been 28 years, not 30 and our economy has grown 10 times. If you take it as 3, it's probably grown 12 times from 1991 when we had pawned our gold, 250 billion dollars economy and today it's a 3 trillion dollar economy. So if it is 3, then at whatever pace, because you know that, okay, there was a time of Mr. Narsimha Rao, then it went topsy-turvy, then Atalji, then uh, the uh, UPA, then yeah. NDA, we still come 10 times to 12 times. So it's not unbelievable that you can do a 10-fold increase. 10-fold increase is 30, but if it's a 12-fold increase, it will be 36 to 40. And that is what you are looking for. And that will be a very different India. So what are the risks today that you feel with this tectonic change? The risks are one, food and crude. 
Why is Ukraine important? Because Ukraine used to give 15% of the grain to the world. And hmm? we'll just come to that. Yeah. Neighbors, yeah, okay. Yeah. Hmm? Neighbors, but food and crude. So, and that is a lot of policy making. If you read, read the newspaper today, Economic Times, Amitabh has written about green hydrogen. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm? Food, we need to change over because in a covered area, the productivity increases. In open areas, which is what we are doing farming, I mean the this technology of farming has to change. And there are plenty of Indian examples going on even now in tribal areas, in other larger areas. And you do, there is a ministry of cooperatives you, uh, has been formed at the union level. You are aware yeah. of that. It was in the last reshuffle. Yeah. Yeah. There are two crops or two, uh, two item, food items. India, I mean, you guys would of course have no idea about it. To get two bottles of Delhi milk scheme milk used to be a steal. If I pull here in the milk booth hmm, to get two or more, today who thinks? One man began, but he was apolitical, Dr. Korean. You are the largest producers of milk in the world today. Uh, it is so much that today we are telling kids ki nahi, it's not a necessary thing to have milk in the morning. Earlier it used to be that if you get milk, you don't drink it. I mean, all Punjabis, that milk, dahi, lassi, it's absolutely our staple food. Hai. Uh, the other one is cooperatives again, sugar. We are again the largest producers of sugar in the world. And some of the Indians, there was a cooperative movement in Maharashtra. So Mr. Sharad Pawar is supposed to be amongst the first two most important people in the world of sugar around the globe. So that's where. And now you are hoping that if India has to become a 30 to 40 trillion dollar economy, then nobody in India would be going without food. In China, the big thing is that, you know, we all think that China is laying a debt trap because it suits us. Thank you, not me. I'll pass it no, on. No, please. Here. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, so, we all think that China is laying a debt trap. It's taking away mineral resources. It's spreading its, you know, wings, rather feet and wings into other territories. But Ukraine and Odessa was important for them only for food. Their consumption of food has gone up by so much. So that is something which you'll have to keep in mind whether you're focusing on whatever industry to get in, food and crude, new sources of energy, I mean whether it's green hydrogen or whether it's solar, that's a business opportunity because all of you will have to decide where, where will you take your chances and where will you go. Then along with that, fintech and finance has always been important. So therefore to watch inflation is important because we have been deprived of money for a thousand years and it's very visible in the you know 300 years before uh, in colonial rule that money from all over the world was sucked out and drained into the western European economies and that's what accounted for Americas, North, Central and South in various proportions how they became rich countries. With unmindful of the local population. You heard of Canada recently, you heard that there is no Red Indian left now. Yeah. Mm. Similarly Mexicans, yeah. Mayans, Aztecs or whatever. Mm. So you've got to watch out for inflation for that reason. We've done a great job from the 90s till today, 30 years in services, which is what accounts for Mr. Narayan Murthy and Vipro becoming a IT firm from a Ghee yeah. manufacturer. Mm -hmm. So it was spotting the right trend. Mm -hmm. And I'll give you an example close to history. Mr. Rahul Bajaj, as the doyen of the two wheeler industry, we were all there in 1999. He met uh, Mrs. Dixit with a gentleman from uh, Singhania family, but not the main Singhania, maybe different. 
they had these Loya machines, LML, and they were making two wheelers or three wheelers. But they still there, no, in Noida. Yeah, but they wanted, yeah, they wanted on that it should run on kerosene also. Uh, so, Mr. Bajaj had, you know, Rahul had come with them to fight. You know, you should do this. Introduce it. There's a full lobby, and it it can be made clean and all. So all that was fine. And of course, we were all opposing it. So was Mrs. Dixit. And that was in November or December 1999. On first of May, at the Pragati Maidan, he made Mrs. Dixit inaugurate the. CNG gas three wheeler and then it became the rule that yeah. anyone I mean stop you know I mean don't even think about kerosene yeah. even diesel is and petrol is not allowed yeah. otherwise those scooters used to have ki whatever I think they used to put petrol and oil together now it's blended yeah. huh? so that was disallowed and RE rear engine gas uh, was the one which was introduced and till today Mr. Bajaj has a monopoly mm. so you got to I mean he was fighting for somebody else who's, who continued in the lesser places mm. but when it came to Delhi when it came to Mumbai and Delhi has about one lakh those th uh, three wheelers mm. uh, so you can very well imagine that he had the foresight to change like Rajiv who stopped making Bajaj, Hamara, Hamara Bajaj and shifted to Mobikes yeah. and gave a justification that there is no market for scooters. Yeah. Yeah. So from services we have got to change to manufacturing which is the next big thing in that 30 to 40 trillion dollar economy and you have got to decide where you want to choose. That's the lesson. That's the thing which must trouble your mind. And then, of course, labor productivity. That's where. But don't fight labor. Mm -hmm. How do you get labor to go along with you? And I think to that extent, every Marwadi family is a sh sure shot winner. I think Marwadi's or Indian businesses, let's say Indian businessmen who have not followed the western model have been much bigger winners because right from the top down <coughs> to the labor there is some kind of a feeling that you belong to a family yeah. <coughs> it's not that you know Birla ke plant mein hai, Goa mein, and the management over there is so slick and so western oriented they give you a report they say they don't have MIS, they have to study the system they design their own and Babu is that I mean he is a CEO that man can talk to any person in the world the CEO he will be on one to one on the entire western model but he will suddenly you know kind of change and speak with folk tongue because one is the western model, the other one is the yeah. Marwadi Babu's model yeah. Yeah. Huh? And, he's, and he knows each one of those languages equally well mm. and down to the labor mm. union hogi, maybe there can be a strike, there can be some incidents also like in tea gardens you have some mm. but all the same by and large in industry they would give you a feeling that it's a family feeling mm. so labor productivity has to be increased That's that's a given because if your labor doesn't increase productivity then there is no jump that jump you know which is the geometrical jump in production cannot take place so that is something which is highly essential but all the same you have to reskill them and you still have to convey that feeling, otherwise Datta Saman's movement, you don't know, or the Shiv Sena movement, the Naxalite movement, the movement in the Northeast Assam. So all those are led when you get, you know, you start following the Western model. Ki ye meri, uh, this is my, you know, this is uh, the salary I give you, this is, I don't, I mean, if you don't, 
keep to your timing and you don't keep your deadlines, out you go and the HR will handle you. That way HR can be totally surgical. Whereas all of us are used to ki whether the doctor is a nephrologist, neurologist, cardiologist, bache ko bukhar bhi hota na, to then you ring up your favorite doctor, whatever his speciality may be and say ki usko bukhar ho gaya hai. Now what is the cardiologist supposed to tell you about <laughs> a little kid you know, who is 6 months old? Huh? Then you say ki nini pediatrician hai. But the pediatrician may be a young chap, he may be very good or he may not be very good. So you say that he is a pediatric specialization, so he has to consult him. But we have got a GP, who is at home, family doctor. We have to ask him to ask him because he doesn't know what he is giving. So the same thing goes with your business setup. It's highly professional which you have to make it because by and large, how many things can you control yourself? But at the same time, you've got, I mean, it's got to be a change. We hadn't seen it when all the airlines were failing. It was Indigo which was succeeding. Yeah. Tata's were succeeding. Because somewhere, in one case, people took pride in the success of Indigo. And there was no rumbling at all till today. It's only when, when Tata's took over Air India and being a bigger corporation, being a bigger, you know, bigger purse strings, when they have <coughs> asked for recruitment, all of Indigo seems to have gone. Huh? Yeah. yeah, so a, a successful model, if you don't bind them, they also tend to slip. But other airlines were having a tough time, I'm sure. So you got to see how do you pull them together. There will be many lessons in future, not only for the labor. I mean, right now we are doing labor, but I will tell you about organizations. And the last thing was neighbors. Now, you are into a very, very dangerous area. Please see where the world has changed. The US has become protectionist. So will Canada be sometime? Europe, Western Europe has turned protectionist. I mean, it's an amazing thing. They were telling you for free trade. They were telling you that COP26, mm -hmm. uh, that sorry, no fossil fuels. Yeah. Today, what's her name? Palvi. Uh, what's her name? Uh, no, we are we on one. Yeah. Palvi Sh Sharma Padhyay or something? Palki, Palki Sharma Padhyay. I mean, her latest one is that, sorry, gas from USSR is going, or Russia is going, yeah. therefore we are all turning back to coal now. <laughs> and we bloody well went for solar, yeah. uh, and saying we will do solar, we will do wind, we will do everything, green yeah. hydrogen, clean energy, uh, clean yeah. energy and no, no coal. Net zero by 2070. And, Russia and China is doing gasification of coal. Yeah. So, things can change. That's where your neighbors come in. Come to that West Asia. West Asia, Turkey used to be the most modern country in the West. Yeah. And look at what is happening under Erdogan. And let's not bother about Saudi Arabia. Let's not think about those smaller nations, Syria, Iraq. Jordan was an outlier because he married a foreigner. He was very liberal. But what's happened to Iran, what's happened to Afghanistan and why talk about Pakistan? Worse than that is Sri Lanka. I mean, really on the brink. I mean, I don't know why there isn't a movement over there. To say, kya, 75 mein Sikkim kiya tha na tumne. Huh? 2025 mein Sri Lanka kar do, please. We want to join your democratic movement. Huh? So that's, I mean, which is what, if you recall, at one time it was suspected that Mr. Rajiv Gandhi wanted to help Sri Lankans or take over Sri Lanka. Yeah. Myanmar, the same. Nepal is a basket case in any case. Yeah, so, look at the kind of borders that you have in and that the country that you are living in. And your best market is that. Is the single largest unified market. You hope to grow it. 
therefore food will be a question labor productivity and manufacturing if you don't manufacture then you are out see what was the problem all of us are from phd cci phd is better known as the msme yeah. what is the problem with msme i mean i keep on giving the same example so i'll repeat it you know the iron we could not get a msme firm which was making a good reliable steam iron where do you get your cloth iron now at home it can't be with an iron except for a steam iron yeah. I mean, nowadays ladies are even using those vertical yeah, yeah. ones yeah. 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 which is very tough to use yeah. <laughs> <laughs> men don't know at least how to use it huh? but it is similarly you need to in, you know induct technology and the best technology in the world into msmes you need to provide them some skilled labor you need to look after their finances your own and theirs so there has to be a change at a very large level imagine people are excelling in india the number of unicorns to make a platform without ownership why somebody not making a platform for technology induction by msmes why is it still left delhi's problem of pollution is really that most of your industries whether it was many exporters made it good but dying and uh, you know uh, dying washing whatever it was the processes of garment exports yeah. they were polluting the steel steel anodizing electroplating ha uh, wazirpur for that matter acha yamuna bar so it is entirely in, it's entirely in in you no know, chemicals in the in homes the same place so therefore you have this shahadra drain and if you treat a river as a drain of the last resort which is what mr modi is making a change in up that all your waste has to be treated on land and cleansed over there you cannot throw it into the river it was okay when there was hardly any industry all municipal waste all industrial waste all chemical waste we used to go into the river so there's no way i mean the river has no hope i mean that song is very famous but it's true because it was filmed on mandakini so everyone thinks of a woman but this song is true ki ram teri ganga valley ho gayi i mean we have never considered anyone as papi but papiyon ke paap dhote dhote ha so we have i mean there is not enough water to treat it true Hmm? and then we shifted when we did shift we shifted to plastics we are now learning that i mean touch wood there is no plastic here hmm. so you got to see that change all these are not only problems these are opportunities that how do you you know uh, make money or by getting into the right kind of thing what are the opportunities which are before and all these are the ones which throw up opportunities and that's what leaders are So what do we need now? We need a strong country. Why do you need a strong country? Because your borders are very fragile. There can be various movements. One movement you see, which is totally above board, is what we call NATO. NATO. Then you keep on taking this entire war is taking place because of that. Because NATO also means, like they did. with the marshall aid plan germany first west germany and japan on the two borders that we bombed the hell out of you we nuclear bombed japan we you know mass bombed uh, europe yeah, yeah. now the american gi is your protector yeah so all planes will come from there america became the largest industry in the us was no longer that cadillac and the big cars but it was arms and armaments and there came in the eastern bloc so when they couldn't counter the eastern bloc and their effort in asia failed japan was totally subdued they were subjugated 
they passed a law that we will never resort to war and even shinzo abe could not change that law that we will resort to aggression if you know but he also had to go and apologize for what they did to china the sino japanese when america interfered it ended up 40s you know was the world war scene yeah. they were declared america had a recession in the beginning of the 30s in the 40s it had turned the corner and become the savior of the world i mean thank heavens for such depressions maybe or recession maybe that is their hope in the us again that they'll hit out at something some new <coughs> paradigm in the 50s it was to begin with korea yeah south korea south and north it divided it couldn't win over 60s began vietnam and then it got i mean till today laos cambodia have more minds than and main people than you know people who are okay and then they hit out at philippines it became the base new zealand and australia were already in the white fold and this became their foothold philippines so the fleet used to be stationed over there money came in there and that society went a little ahead in some manner then even thailand and then of course malaysia singapore came in in their own but singapore is a great it's a small city state but it's a great lesson to learn for all of us that how do you do financial you know there's a calculation i think which you must have read in the in our phd thing only that 9 9 billion dollars worth of arbitration of indian firms takes place in singapore and at 5% of the cost that's 450 million dollars of earnings being given to a city singapore 450 mein to yahan pe sare high court chal jayenge i mean our cost of running a supreme court and high court must be less than 450 million dollars yeah even with two ltcs in a year you know they get two ltcs in a year that rather than one ltc in two years so there there is a lot of room i mean think of the thing you know think of a problem and you'll see that there is an opportunity there and so that's where the country is we need a strong defense sector because then there is also there is an unstable uh, political reorganization taking place in west asia now you got to guard out against that kashmir has been only one of the places where it has struck us most and that too it has struck us because benazir late benazir bhutto treated it as a official exercise that in case she wants to avenge her father for the 1971 defeat and later his assassination she has got to at least take you know one kind of area from from india to show that my father has been avenged so revenge is a very bad feeling i mean there are others who try to prove ki the present prime minister is a thief because it may be a vengeful feeling hai yeah. yeah, but it's it's a thing and we only felt it there in kashmir and we know for a fact that it's a non negotiable border that we have if we were to keep it and it is true what is coming out that we did have lot of scientific progress i think um, if you have any doubt listen to some of the speeches by a member of parliament called sudhanshu trivedi mm -hmm. and sudhanshu will and you know get on to the youtube and take his speeches and all he was actually a professor and he will tell you all the things which have happened so let's keep our track of time very wonderful way to hmm? very good yeah very good so you have you have a thing that yes if india had made so much of progress when we talk of the egyptian civilization the mesopotamian one the babylonian one yeah the iranian one roman civilization uske baad to kuch tha hi nahi wahan pe and then we missed out on the renaissance the mongols 
Uh, they were there earlier, but how come none of them came here? The Greeks. It's all very easy to say because what we've learned from a movie, कि सिकंदर ने कोरस से की लड़ाई, सिकंदर जीत गया, फिर उसने बोला नहीं मम्मी की याद आई, and he turned back, and he died on the way. He couldn't even meet his mother. But the fact is, who knows what really happened? Why did he turn back? Yeah. Why didn't Mongols come into India? So, but we lost over a period of time. What that statement says in that, you know, that uh, video says about some ruler in in the Middle East. He says, "My father rode a camel. I rode a camel. I uh, my son takes a Mercedes. Then it'll be a Land Rover. And my grandson, great grandson, will be back to a camel." Yeah. We also perhaps we've seen it in front of us that if we were such a strong yeah. and not a united entity, but we were that strong that. People had divided. There was great learning over there. Our universities were great, huh? so obviously. And then, how much of how much of imagination would they have had? They obviously, in one of the videos, this man tells you that when we pray, we take nine planets' names. How did they know it? Most of the West didn't even know that it was a round Earth. It was a, supposed to be a flat Earth. And then why is Kumbh Mela held every 12 years? There's another video which he tells you that it's the alignment of Jupiter when they come the closest. That's when the Kumbh Mela is is uh, it takes 12 years, and when it goes the other way around, that is the Ardh Kumbh. So you know, like the solstices. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there is there was great progress. Now you've got to get back. It's knowledge which has to come. I mean, that's why Baidus can buy Akash for 950 million. I mean, it used to be whoever used to go. Yeah. I mean, a chap who went into the Fidji class yeah. not to get into IIT, they say, Vasi Dabar hai hai, to usko tuition chahiye. Yeah. Today, your kid has to do school, he has to do his own study. And then go, ki mummy and papa, I mean he's only six months old, <laughs> let her grow. <laughs> ki mummy and papa, mummy is taking you to one tutor, the other one's coming home, the third one's advising you. Uh, and, and now those now Shahrukh Khan is advertising yeah. ki pehle pa, no, tuition center. Yeah. Yeah. Class one. Yeah. I mean look at him. Yeah. I mean look at Baidu's from online. Which is the fundamental behind the whole concept yeah, was that. Yeah. It's changed. It's changed to that, let's go to tuition center. I mean, tomorrow they'll say that Baidu schools are the best. Yeah. Yeah. Let's leave tuition. Let's leave tuition. Let's leave tuition. Let's leave tuition. So even Vidyamadhan has not done 11-12 schooling. Yeah. Vidyamadhan, which used to be the oldest IIT training. So now 11-12, you can do schooling with Vidyamadhan, your CPSE board and do your IIT preparation. Someone said, someone's from DPS, no? Hmm. Yeah, you said R.K. Puram. Yeah. R.K. Puram was established as a branch of Madhuraya. 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 I've seen this, I've seen this uh, Oberoi come up ah, yeah. in front of my eyes in 1965. Okay, designed by Pilu Modi, mm -hmm. uh, that uh, member of parliament, mm -hmm. an architect. It's one of the best designed hotels in the world. As a city hotel, first of all the site. Yeah. Every room on this side gives you green green. Yeah. Uh, secondly, it's got all the kitchens. The kitchen is in the middle. So you can serve the entire hotel easily from there. And then the rest also. This is also extremely well. Yes, yeah. well so we've seen that extreme. come and uh, in 1971, General Kandath came and inaugurated R.K. Puram till class 8th. And then it became, and we used to make fun of Mr. Lugani. He later on became such a great educationist that R.K. Puram became the flagship of DPS and the Marx factory. Yeah. And he was anything but Karl Marx. I mean, he was. I mean, he was the federal governor of USA when it came to, and it became a money-making thing. I think they had sections up to. Z and A, double A, yeah. double A, e kind of thing. It, I mean, so many sections. How could they? And they just took the best and they 
Yeah. I mean, to be, yeah. to belong to, uh, to R.K. Ponan was a great achievement. Yeah. Hmm? And they were, 11th, 12th, they were filling up with those guys. And there was a school, I mean, there was Columbus, which was very good before. There was Xavier's, which changed. Modern school. I mean, thanks to Mr. Evan Kapoor. Yeah. Yeah. Legendary principles. Uh, similarly, like the Dune also had a legendary principle. So, thumb rule was a, a, as good as the, a school is as, as good as the principle again. So, I guess the same thing goes, a country is as good as the leader that we have in, and we've seen it before eyes. I mean, it's not a, you can belong to a political affiliation, you can discuss and debate, we can de debate both the sides now. But the truth is that you will not find a leader like this. I mean, he's given you a different paradigm. Number one, okay, tireless working. Number two, spotlessly clean. He will not allow any any scandal to come near him. Number three, purely national. He's the best ambassador that India has. Number four, he can take a bold decision. I mean, you can keep on arguing about ki what was demonetization. He says, ki yaar, who's concerned about economics? The politics of demonetization was yeah. excellent. excellent. BSP and SP wiped out, yeah. and BJP <laughs> first time has come back to power. Yeah. Huh? So, and the last thing, and which is what made him tick, selfless sacrifice. Now, for you in all in business, all lessons. See, a number of people are enjoying. I kidhar jaunga holiday pe. No one travels as much as he does. But you've seen that famous video of Jay Shankar saying that three days, five countries, uh, so many continents, uh, and only sleeping on the plane at night. So it's a now if you have to become leaders and you have to grow this economy, we've talked of use of technology, especially for MSMEs and manufacturing, reskilling of labor and women. I think that's what we are missing out to a very large extent in any form of industry. The best example is again construction. If you recall, in the older type of construction, the heaviest load was carried by women and the mystery jo tha, the husbands were the mysteries. I mean, he was the bricklayer actually. But who carried the bricks? And who carried those tashtaris of, uh, you know, whatever concrete they used to mix up over there. And that was the ladies. So ladies, possible, I can only give you an example from Vietnam, which is a success story. And I'm talking of 2003. As far back as 2003, which is almost ancient history, whenever, wherever you guys are concerned. We were driving from Hanoi to Halong Bay. There was a factory which we saw, which we drove for about maybe 7 minutes or 8 minutes must have been 2 to 3 kilometers long and we were seeing that yes what a, what a beautiful factory it must have been from inside we didn't know but outside we were seeing I mean normal factory and windows but we, the great thing was that those windows had a curtain vertical curtain which was light blue in color and a small horizontal curtain which was black in color. So he said, Kitna fine taste hoga this nation, and you admire that nation for what they were able to eventually win and even pose a challenge to China that we are not your lackeys. But we said, Ki, imagine how sensitive they are, they are that a separate color here of a curtain, a separate vertical curtain, light blue, sky blue. So, so chale gaye. when we were coming back in the evening, we must have seen more than 10 to 15,000 ladies stepping out, going out of that factory, each one wearing that loose trouser which they kind of have no, of black color and all the blouses were light blue in color. So what we had seen was not curtains. No, we had seen those ladies working. On each window was a lady. So, reskilling of women now that is not only one of the greatest assets which you have, 
but there is a problem with it also they say that what is the greatest wealth of a home in india it's a wise woman that's how each one of the men either have been brought up very well or even spoiled and because like you said ki bachche ki awaaz aa jaye to uthna padega hi na and i mean i i have an incident in goa we were very i mean we had only one child and he used to cry so i also thought i'll share my duties <laughs> with my wife so we used to hold court they were as you know with first posting as the so wo bhi wahan pe jao i mean do touring but in goa good thing was that you can go anywhere in goa in the evening you'll return home yeah so we used to be there and hua to one day while holding court so <coughs> and court was a little raised like courts are and taking notes and i went to sleep <laughs> <laughs> and this is after lunch hota tha wahan pe court na 2:30 to 5:30 and one of the guys was a he was a well known lawyer there uh, and uh, i'm just uh, forgetting his name but uh, he became the law minister of india later so we always had that joke and that uh, he says you know and then goans are very decent people the best of the people there so when i went to sleep it must have been 30 to 40 seconds but they noticed it so when i got up and said sorry they were all seated kisi ne shor nahi bachaya na so ramakant khalap was his name and he became a law minister later so i said so sorry but i made a decision that i'm not going to help my wife at night <laughs> <laughs> i'm going to sleep at night because this is a bad thing how much this is something which i mean you know you have that women do play a very important role you got to see that and the next thing is exports today they are saying the role of 600 billion dollars and the idea is to make it into a trillion in the next few years that how exports have to be so now for exports you do need manufacturing services have helped us till today but i mean it may cause for mr sunak not to become the pm because his wife is richer than the queen of england <laughs> huh? so services have helped out you have a choice service sector manufacturing trading and i think that is what went wrong in india in its history when we were a strong nation the learned who were supposed to be the brahmins when it became hereditary they became gatekeepers to god and began earning easy money ki tumhe bhagwan ka aashirwad hi nahi milega agar tum mujhe paisa nahi doge the bouncers probably became the kshatriyas hmm that's why you have great you know punjabis and you have great marathas <laughs> you seen that all these film stars how come they have all these maharashtrian yeah, you know yeah. tight uh, safari suited kind of chaps hmm? so and but the economically productive classes i mean i have nothing against brahmins or nothing kshatriya i think we belong to that but yeah. hum but the economically productive classes whether it was the farmer whether it was the trader manufacturer all of them got pushed or the banker got pushed to the third and all the service sector people got pushed to the fourth so that's probably what went wrong we need, today to that extent independent india is now giving its rightful place to the service sector to the manufacturing sector to the farmer when you are talking of cooperatives but the farm laws were not bad it's just that no one was able to sell them even in the current government to the farmers so maybe cooperatives if a person owning from 3 cows and buffaloes can make it to 300 or 3000 i not 3000 it's 300 i'm sure they don't because the moment you have dairy farms disease becomes rampant mm-hmm. and if you haven't heard the story is uh, since many of you are probably vegetarians the best mutton whether it's goat or sheep mutton comes from rajasthan 
that's because they are nomads to keep the meat disease free because everything that mad cow disease is a creation of those dairy farms your poultry farms also have a very high incidence of you know uh, you have, you know, uh, illnesses of uh, poultry but the same thing goes that's why they keep on pumping them with water and antibiotics so and these nomad animals cannot stay at a farm they are paid by the farmers because their droppings constitute fertilizer but not more than two nights that they should catch disease they they take money in fact they take a booking for the tourist you go into their place and they pay you so in two days they move out to the next place okay you will graze over there because they've got to keep there they don't want to spend on you know medical help and medical aid so that's where i mean every trade and everything has its own finer points and if you got to learn i mean make exports which is what china did then you'll have to work bloody hard at being a leader so just to wrap up a few points please number 1 areas green energy production link manufacture infrastructure msmes housing i mean i keep on telling that again and again and again that if 870 million people are going to be living in cities by 2050 in india today for 50% of all the city dwellers are either in slums or in unauthorized colonies now that is creating a problem of movement a problem of pollution but more than that sometimes a law and order issue so if you have to watch out we don't want my, the problem of migrants again and again so if for half the population that means 400 million approximately 40 crores with five people to a house and government mandating that a 300 square foot what we call one bhk one bedroom one kitchen one big hall a bathing uh, i mean a toilet and a bathing yeah uh, this thing separate now you've got to make 8 crore mr modi has a program of called uh, pradhan mantri awas yojana but that is not so much in the cities and it's also with a contribution from the owner now you can't have a thing even if it costs 6 to 7 and a half lakhs a guy who's poor who's earning his daily bread so you've got to make it into a rental housing as low as 50 bucks a day maybe 150 bucks a day so that's where some opportunity some employment and some gdp multiplier will take place just like msme is changing will be a huge multiplier for earning why is the latest theme that the government is also talking about you need growth of gdp but you need inclusivity because mm. the moment you keep out large number of people it spells a problem so you got as leaders each one of you will have to think that it has life has much much wider ramifications and implications than you know just adopting an industry and setting up a good industrial plant or a good industry calls for it's much much more serious than that big data mining computerization digital world artificial intelligence is something of the tools which you can utilize it can grow as an industry which is pine labs i mean those pos machines yeah yeah how many people are making it in today hmm? how many transactions digital transactions take place i mean i'm sure you guys don't do it because you're the owners and somebody else must be going but nobody goes to the mcd office to pay his taxes nowadays it's all done tuck you can do it yourself yeah it's only point of time where your father and mother have to learn how to trust you mm. that it can be done rightly <laughs> <laughs> yeah they always say ki nahi hamare office mein hai na ha wo hai na wo wo jante hain ha so i mean it's so so much easier to do it and you say it's not rocket science i mean 
you know, your dad in Marvel still treat it as rocket science, but it's not that. You guys can do it much better. So, please, what I'm trying to get at is that business leadership is a very serious responsibility. And it is to be achieved over a lifetime. You guys are lucky, you are YBLF, that you are starting it at a young age. The names of Tata's, Kota, Mahindra's, Hero, Singhania's, DLF, Kajaria's, Dabur were not made overnight. It's been a journey. It's been a journey of generations, yes. So similarly, okay, next, political linkages are a very long term equation. And nobody knows it better than Marwadis. All parties, some may koi na koi bhaiya to hai. And yes, but choose what you. Because very often they tend to use it for the short term. Ki koi acha contract mil gaya, koi acha jankar mil gaya, koi problem solve ho gai. Then it becomes a transactional relationship. But if you have companies like IT companies, they cut across. For 30 years they've existed without. They, they've been at home with every politician. In fact, Nandan has even become a minister. Huh? No one doubts either Tech Mahindra, no one doubts uh, Vibro, no one doubts Shivnagar, no one doubts many smaller companies. And they swim across political linkages. ITC, Amul, Hindustan Lever. I mean, these are all things which have gone across and said that if politicians are important for policy making, so are these companies important for politicians to make policy. So it's not just favors which you seek and that becomes a tender case manager. Now that's not what equations are all about. You've got to see beyond that. Then little bit of advice that profligacy and it's just like what the government says anti-profiteering is bad please remember all of you are young you know all your peers what kind of parties they have how much money they spend Sub, Amir, Amir ke hote, maybe they do equally well but simplicity and a little financial control over yourself is a very big asset I mean it means terrible you know, at, at some point of time it looks terrible me like, yeah, yeah. So and so is having the best of time in the world. Maybe a house in Monaco or Cannes, <coughs> London and Dubai are taken for granted. Hai, ek Thailand may be hoja hai, theek hai. Singapore may to hoga hai. US may ek property hai. Bacha ja raha hai padne, to usko bolo ki apartment to le le. He will not stay in the dormitory. Hai, so, then in Indian cities, one in the hills, one in the beach. So all these are investments. But the lesson to learn is very often from a maybe a Gujarati family, a Marwadi family, a South Indian family. They may have all of this, but you can't make out that they live. It's only a few of us, Delhi wala, na? <coughs> Delhi and Bombay. Bombay. Like it's, huh? Bombay. No, Bombay also the same. No, Bombay, Bombay you see. put it aside that they are film stars. So, they have two friends. Aryan doesn't even have a movie. But they have two friends who are all supposed to be. Yeah. And to, I don't know what is the... I am not too sure about Delhi. I don't think the pressures of work in Delhi are as great or round the clock as in Mumbai because the film industry has a lot by light. So, it carries overnight. And therefore, how do they keep their energy levels? I mean, Mick Jagger, yeah. I don't know, how old is he now? 74? Yeah. How can he do a... How can he do a concert or a program? I mean, three hours for singing yeah. and with that kind of energy, how did... How did Michael Jackson do it? How do all these Elton Johns and how do these people do it? They obviously need some kickers. And all these people are creative people, they are geniuses. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do they do it? I mean, they, they need something which is yeah. an abnormal input because their output is phenomenally mm. different.
different from normal human beings. But then please remember, most of us and most of you who are in business, you can run an enterprise, you can be exceptionally talented, you can give an output which is unique, creative. But by and large, you would all like to set up which every businessman has a failing and is an asset to his thinking because that's what keeps him in control is a family enterprise. Family values are very essential. I mean, you can be a Bill Gates, you can be Zuckerberg, you can be Musk, you can be anyone. But <coughs> very often the price of success is perhaps paid by their families. And who, 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 which case is better than Tiger Woods? I mean, all, all the others. That if, if you've got to pay that price, then what use is it? I mean, we are, the strength of India is a family organization and the family fabric. I mean, whenever we talk, it is, I know two or three generations of your family, so and so, so and so, so and so, and that's the network also which works. But then you've got to keep it together. So that is a lesson by itself. That please, lifestyle excesses and lifestyle expenses are not important. And Dr. Manmohan Singh, when he gave up the post of a finance minister, he used to drive a Maruti 800. And people would say, what a simple man, how big a man. And Similarly, the rich, the fabric which they are wearing is very good, but it looks normal. It's chaps like us in service who have to buy a bloody Mercedes Benz. You don't know what they are saying. His salary is so much that he can only afford a you know, Maruti desire. So we are the ones who, but how many kids do you know who have lost their lives over Lamborghinis and Ferraris? I mean, maybe ikka dukka, okay, which we know of the accidents. But the fact is that for that family, the loss is permanent. So why not keep it going and keep it for the long term? It's so difficult to have firms which are more than 100 years old. Try establishing one. Mahindra's, Tata's, and if they've carried on. Bajaj now. I mean, it's... What do, what do you see when you... How many people would actually recognize... I'm saying Rajiv is more outspoken, but Sanjeev Bajaj. Shahid Akir Nikal bhi jayega, will bhi lega, but then end of the matter. And I'm sure they don't come laden with... No, no, laden with follower, you know, office guy, guys, goers, and all, tuck, 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 tuck. And how come all, most of the scandals of the western world or the eastern world or whichever world we are living in huh, is the secretary. The boss's secretary is the wife. The next wife is the boss's secretary. So, what is the point of doing that? I think that is something which all of you must treat it with a little bit of seriousness because why be LF like I'm sure the young <coughs> in CII or the young yeah. in, yeah. in uh, Fiki yeah. I, yeah, so Chai, I don't think has a very young set. Yeah. Yeah, no, no. PhD luckily has one. Yeah. You are the you know torch bearers of the next generation. What values will you keep? That's the lesson for leaders to draw. And prenup should not become the normal. Yeah. Yeah. Adding to your point, it's like it's about collective growth, right? If you think the money is ours and to take it in our personal yeah. Please. Rather than dispersing it Learn to from the ladies. <laughs> they tell the husband, all your money is mine. <laughs> but my money is my own. Yeah. <laughs> that's not yours. That's not yours. But mera aap nahi hai. Mera aapka nahi hai. I mean that is the you know the excess which is for the kids yeah. Yeah. and for her. Okay, thinking and foresight. R I L. HDFC. I mean, great. I mean, thinking and foresight. When 
like someone who said right now that Anil got you were saying yeah. Anil got the best of the firms. Yes. Where is that foresight? I mean, today, look at the stark difference, and you feel bad about it because he's just as warm a guy. Yeah, uh, to marry your point with your previous point, you were saying that you, know, you have to have a long-term vision. So that foresight is so important. To marry also, yes. I <laughs> mean, <laughs> <laughs> that that foresight and thinking is very important. Yeah. Yeah. Not only for the girl and the boy, but for both of them to make it together. So that's. Then team building. I think qualified teams, but committed teams like a family team, you do need. It just spreads. You know, it's like a, throwing a stone in a pond. It just is the head. I mean, it starts the ripple, but that ripple carries on. And the more you can put force into it, the greater the number of ripples. Why a pond? Take the ocean by itself. Yeah. But then keep the team together. It's a big. Big way uh, to. So, do you think it's a challenge in today's time? Like, at least uh, you know, in our family business, I feel that there's a generation which has been there for 20 years, and there is a lot of warmth and trust that we have in each other. Like for me, also, if I have to deliver, ask for work, I know that you know it will. There's a trust, but when you see the new generation coming into the you know organization or the More family. It's very transaction even from that's the it. other side. That's it. I mean, it's, it shouldn't be. Yeah. Even in every transaction, mm -hmm. mother gives you food probably every day on the dinner table and she neglects one person at one time, she doesn't neglect another. But each one of them feels, how many of you have parents whom you feel that my father or my mother has a very distinct liking for one and a distinct dislike for another. The dislike word doesn't come in. How come she deals with everyone that way? I mean, you have so many examples. I think it's uh, you know it abounds in that. I mean that no mother treats yeah. so. Yeah, I have to be excused. I know. I think we'll just end up now. Yeah. Attention to detail, hard work. I mean, so like, I just have to yeah. my daughter from Pune. Yeah. I'm Please. on a time bound. I'm so sorry. Please yeah. go ahead. Salil. Salil. Yes. I mean, there's another Gupta I mean, of this Hevel's family. Yeah. 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 I mean, look what a wonder they've done. Yeah. yeah. Look what a wonder they've done in front of our eyes. Okay, Salil, please go ahead. Thank you so much. Yeah, but I'm so sorry. If you want to take your plate along the thing for your daughter, you can take it. <laughs> then legal <laughs> and accounts. So yeah. Not only learn. But please give attention to detail on legal work and accounts. I mean, foresee judicial and regulatory. So it's such a heavy responsibility which you guys have. Then external environment, you have to manage that. Digital and visual applications, you got to think of in this world. Because it's now changing so fast that old tools may not work. And last, of course, I would say is that Bharat. It's all of India, just not the cities, which will give you plenty of opportunities. So just don't miss out. There's enough money to be made. And we're talking of, I mean, I actually feel, do we have a rich Indian? You know, we are in a pond and we think somebody is rich, somebody is not so rich. But if you see on the global stage, I mean, from a 250 billion dollar economy, kitne log amir se, ab kitne zyada log amir ho gaye? 121 unicorns in the last <coughs> two years. So imagine, and this is just a 3 trillion dollar economy. When it becomes 30 to 40 trillion, I mean, maybe the first person who owns a taxi service which is in space will become an overnight yeah. unicorn. And if I may add, those millionaires that you're talking about, those very rich people, in the last few years, part of the unicorns are all anywhere between 30 and 45. 30 and 45? No, they can be old ones also. I mean, yeah, forget I young ones. Specifically in this unicorn yeah. space that you're talking about. Was saying or who was saying that amazing. health, if you keep your health, yeah. the ideas, I mean, how is Mr. KP saying it? I mean, he just stopped saying now. He says, please, I mean, you ask me my age, is 90 plus 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 <laughs> till whatever time you want to plus. <laughs> and he says, I walk straighter than my son and son will be not found in any other dress 
except color plus wow now he travels in a toyota camry he spends all his time working this work is first and then comes you know kind of family and the third thing is ek game golf ki mil jaye hafte mein to chalo so it is actually that yes i mean it, it's a niche you know we can't afford to make homes or or businesses in bhubneshwar kolkata you know madhya pradesh punjab hari i mean uh, bihar uh, and places where selling prices are not high because they take a long time in incubating they take a long time in planning but they give you a product which they feel is i'm mean, the best so you've got to decide yourself somebody will do a rental housing somebody will do affordable housing yeah mr vineshil hai na mr bata vineshil i thought Vineshil Gautam, yes. Ha, Gautam, Gautam, yes. yes. He's yes. a professor from IIT. Yes, so just give him coffee, please, upstairs. Yes, I'll I'll give him money. Thank you, I'm I'm coming. Okay. So just do that. Bharat will give you lots of opportunities. I mean, it's not only the super metros and the metros and the tier one, two, but one, two, three, four, and down to the village level, they'll give you opportunities over there. There's no bar on your thinking, but focus somewhere. and if you want to like like you buy shares in gold or properties i mean businesses can also be as a past time and people who who uh, sanjeev bichandani sunil munjal who invested into nike yeah erected mm-hmm. in i mean that is what all of you are placing your bets on many companies so there will be plenty of others who can be working for you it's not really that only you are working so you can pay attention to your own business and be wise what people normally do is that i want to have a set of friends i want to have a set of people whom can i have fun with but given the kind of families you are coming from the kind of stake that you control and that you invest into you got to be more wise than only fun loving there's various kinds of fun i think success is a big piece of fun i mean success is it can be typically like a newly rich that success can be okay great parties but success can also mean setting up something which is which goes beyond your time So that's it. thank you, my friends. So nice. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Wonderful session. Yes. A lot many takeaways. No, thanks a lot. Life has been kind to me, and I hope it's to everyone. Yeah. Thank you so much. And why should it not be? You got a great start in your parents. Yeah. It's okay. Make the best of them. Yes. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, if anybody would like to ask a couple of questions, but I think I have, but I think ten minutes are enough. So on a on a on a bit slightly different uh, uh, I guess in a bit so uh, one thing that I really want to ask you is <coughs> we MSMEs did start with our growth plan. I mean, our growth 10 percent, 15 percent per annum. Non companies, new age companies, they grow for multiple X per annum. Companies like DLF, they started small. Every company starts small, right? They go up, and there are I mean. So a lot of the SMEs, SME, MSMEs, including us. I mean, we've not had that kind of. Problem. What stops us? What as per you, is the issue? Why are we not? Why the MSMEs are not able to? See, most of them probably are in manufacturing. Even services, sir. We are like we are in services. Okay. In services, then you need a platform. I mean, how these services grown? Zomato, Swiggy. It's been a actually, the pandemic was their opportunity, and that's how they came up. Huh? And Why Nike? That's how. I mean, in times that they've come up. So one is, of course, I think that's what you need. It's not just fun. It's a lot of thinking, a lot of people getting together because somebody may be willing to invest into you. Are you getting that capital, or are you only looking at banks? 
that how do you get this capital? And you'd be surprised about DLF. It's 76 years old. In the 1946, in the first 10 years, they had become so big that Pandit Nehru had to pass a law. It was uh, subordinate legislation of parliament called the Delhi Development Authority Act, which became like DDA, became a model for they, they nationalized land. And that was a mistake because of even DDA, while it may have one head, it needs, you know, a person who's running facility management, a person who's running residential. Now, residential can be affordable, semi luxury, uber luxury, huh? then commercial, leased or sold, retail, leased or sold, huh? then your environmental uh, measures, huh? your technology measures. So, the problem became that because of government controlling it, all of us who are in the government, whether it's a politician or whether it's a bureaucrat, their power came only from licensing. And what is licensing? Licensing is only to create and meet shortages. Yeah. So while they were trying to meet a shortage of homes, till today there is a shortage of homes. But they created also a shortage. Because public accountability does not allow business decisions. Transparency does not allow. He has to go by a tender. Now you know in a tender things may not be the best. But they had made 23 colonies in Delhi. There was a scare that the Jat takeover you know, the first chief minister of Delhi, Chaudhary Brahm Prakash, was a jat. Chaudhary Raghavendra Singh, another jat. So they were wondering that jats ko jada nahi kandhi expand kar rahe. And they began from Krishna Nagar, colonies which you and I don't even think of, Dilshad Garden. Then they jumped the Yamuna and came to a colony on three villages, model town. Why was it called model town? Because that was the best colony in Lahore. Then Punjabi Bagh, Rajori Garden, uh, House Khas, Green Park, South X1, South X2, GK1, 2, 3, Enclave. So by that time they become so big and now you've seen Gurgaon. And we are perhaps the only firm, normally everyone sticks to a geography. So does Mr. Trump, I mean New York. But we fanned out everywhere. When we were going in for the IPO, it was NCR, Gurgaon, Delhi. It's the only completed condominium colony in Delhi is Capital Greens, now what is coming up, Midtown. You know the DCM, the Ansels and all began. Ansels were much larger than us. So were United, very professional company. So was Eros. So was JP Group. One mistake. Everything. And everything goes. Yes? So it's very essential to keep so the question that still is apart from money, I mean what helps a company scale so far? So scale so scale, scale technology, money. technology, computerization, hmm, controls, reskilling labor. I mean it may mean a little bit of investment in them, but it may be on the job. I mean, how did we train ladies? to stitch at home because we couldn't establish large enough factories so only Shahi Exports has done it where they have more than 1 lakh people working for them so take your problem consult your friends some of them are bound to invest into you it's not just a banker or they will know of a banker who will invest in you so just I mean it's, it's, not, it's not rocket science but you need to devote and get some thinking from external sources. Hello? Yeah? I have a question. Please. Nee, 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 nee. So, it's not a difficult thing, but you've got to see the factors and how to knit them into a story by itself. Sure. I mean, I'm sure Havels did not begin that large. And then advertising is unforgettable. What to say of the product? Then their collaborations. They are now manufacturing so many things. I mean, you'll. I've heard it's manufacturing, sir. Do you know this? Hmm? They were a dealer. 
राहुल At one time, one point of time, uh, you know it. I mean, he was our secretary general, Deep's father, Mr. Krishan Kalra. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He was the SD of, uh, of uh, PhD CCI, and Deep is a boy from Saint Stephen's College, so he's not an inge- engineer, but probably IIM. And he listed in Nasdaq, seven hundred million dollars. So there is thinking. Why haven't I been able to become a businessman? I'm like you. I'm thinking, why? You know, one of the reasons for getting out of this was that how do we establish something? How do I do another job? And I, I just try to keep myself fit so that I'm capable of doing another job. If one is, if businessmen can think of not retiring, why should people in service not keep themselves fit and not retire? Mm-hmm. Uh, so, if, and why can't we start? See, but it's equally true that service does not last you a lifetime. It has to come to a, to a, an end some point in time. Business never does, no. Mm-hmm. Business will always happen. The kids start saying, "Ki, ha, ni ni, get out, ni, najam, najam to the side, ki." Oh, but see, we can't get sick. Ha, ni ha. Ki, I am mummy, sab kuch mujhe aata hai. Mujhe dab mein aap saam mein baitha hu, pata nahi gusa kar dete. In bolte hain, "Shut up, I know the business." But I know it much better than him. He has the he has the right to say shut up, so he says it. Hmm? He says he just didn't manage to do it, so he will be able to do it. I have a question. Yes, sir. If I may, and just a short question, which you touched on. You're taking a page to write, sir. <laughs> so, um, do you think um, just changing here? You were talking about world leaders, right? Um, at some point, and I often wonder that they were very uh, influential, charismatic. Uh, leaders in the last, let's say, fifty, sixty years, years, thousands of years, thousands of years. Sure. Do you think there is fewer number in of business? Them? No, in business you have an equal number. No, politically, I would say more country leaders. You know, has has the number of them come down? What's yes. happening? People have to be contrarian to their thinking. You can't do the same kind of thinking and then be exceptional. It's in business. You keep on doing the same thing again and again and again. There will be people who are doing better than you. There are people who are doing bigger scale than you. People who have more money than you. People who have better technology. But then there is a breakthrough. He gets the act right. After all, Mr. Keshav Mahendra was equally big as Mahendra. Anand has done so well. Exactly, all collaborations. That's you, there you are. Pawan Goenka was his MD. And today, Pawan Goenka is heading a space program. So just think. I mean, you you can do it. It's not that there is a dearth. No way. In fact, the Indian cricket used to come in from Maharashtra and some part of Delhi. I mean, today you have the most successful captains. One is from Kolkata. One is from Ranchi. Virat Kohli's father died. Uh, Rohit Sharma, we don't even know where he belongs to, except that we think he's from Mumbai because yeah. he's a captain of Mumbai Indians. Yeah. Right. Uh, but where does Sanju Sam- Samson come into Rajasthan from? So if you have the economic pie, which is spreading so much, you will get leaders fire in the belly. The problem is that's why very many business families fire in the belly is missing. You know. Like that famous saying, right? The first generation builds the business, second generation enjoys, and the third one. Shri 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 How you get into it, Mr. Modi did not have a political background, but today, I mean, you have Modi bhaks, mm-hmm. yeah, so 
Many of us are Modi Bhats, no? And we actually believe in India. So similarly, it's not getting things on a platter. It's how do you put yourself to, to work. And there are so many good children of... I mean, you've choose, chosen a model. Dabar has chosen a model that we will have professionals yeah. and we will only do oversight. Yeah. Apni investment, apne aap karenge. Right. Yeah, so, I mean, which is with their money. It's not interfering into business. That bread and butter and jam and, you know, kind of the best of food for the country will come from the business, but we will have our own thinking. So it is definitely possible. And you are too young to, to think of anything going bad. Maybe the platter was a good platter. Maybe the platter is taking you away from business. It's a bad platter. So it's a, it's a challenge. You, you've got to have that urge to excel. Yeah. What is the, what and is no the, shortcuts. What is your best advice for somebody's 30 when your best advice for somebody's 40? They're both very young. <laughs> no, be more specific. No, see, uh, okay, number one, at all ages you have to be wise. Mm -hmm. I mean, don't be, I mean, don't take off the cuff decisions unwisely. Mm -hmm. Number two, there is no age, Mr. He was partying. He said, for the best of my life, Mr. K.P. Singh was partying and then he, then if you saw his schedule, he said, I'd love to see how many of my kids can meet that schedule of mine. I'm sure it's this age. I mean, okay, I, I changed over from a government job at the age of 51. And life was very kind to me and excellent people whom I met. So similarly, I mean, I'm still thinking. I can do service, I can do business, I can do various things. There's no, there's no bar. So 30 or 40 is actually you got the gift of having brains. That's a big thing. So just don't give up. Just don't give up and collaborate. It's a big thing. At 30 you can collaborate much easier. At 40 it may be a little bit more tight but maybe you get a good opportunity. Those who retire at the age of 50 they say we can't collaborate. I've done my earning. And I'm going to invest and then live off that. It's a comfortable living. Maybe they they are, I mean, you know, uh, tying up their family and doing lots of things for their families. So it's all. I mean, it cannot be. Uh, Kichdi is the simplest food. And right now, it's is the best food that somebody has, and he has only Kichdi. Hmm? But it is kichdi, it's a basic food and it's very nutritious. So at 30, 40, 50, think of the kichdi that mm -hmm. you want to get, get cracking at. But, I mean, I can't give a one, one word answer, but uh, I mean, life is, life is just too precious for uh, a single word to solve it. And, you, and you've got to live that life. But live that life happily. Never be unhappy in life. Okay, maybe that's the one word. That at 30 and 40, you need to have so much of happiness built into your character that everything which you look at is positive because you've got to attract everyone by that positivity. Whether he's an investor, whether he's a technology person, whether he's a digital person or whether he's a labor you know, uh, part of your labor team, whether he's a part of your management team, you like it much better coming back to a happy home, don't you? So then, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. You've been a past president, so you know the protocol. <laughs> don't worry, but I don't need it. I need this. I need the plant. I mean, that's something which is. I think so. one picture will yes. show, I think, everyone. Please. Please. Come here, let me just move this back. Mukesh will be yes, and with with the PhD logo there.